that was a no-go with Congress. So Obama decided to try to sidestep that with an executive order, which was known as DACA, and it has been in a court battle for the last 10 years straight, okay? Uh, it still has not been resolved in regards to the constitutionality of it. I mean, multiple jurisdictions, courts have found that, yes, it's not constitutional. But again, you know how this goes, okay? Trump tried to roll it back, and it gets challenged, and you kind of got to go through the process, but nobody really wants to come out and to give a solid ruling uh, because ultimately— a lot of people are thinking emotionally about this. Nobody wants to be the person to say, hey, we're sending uh, these people who came here as kids, we're sending them back to their home country. But that's exactly what we should be doing because ultimately they're not our responsibility. They're the responsibility of the country that they have citizenship, right? I mean, that is kind of what citizenship is, okay? So there's no need to feel bad about it because it's not our moral obligation to take care of them. It is the moral obligation of the country that they came from to take care of them. And what we currently have happening right now is a limbo because, again, people are afraid to actually do what we should do, which is to enforce our laws, uh, where they're just kind of here. And, you know, in some aspects, OK, they can get a job, they can work, OK, they can be productive citizens, but you know, they, they just don't have citizenship. So they're just kind of here in this gray status. Um, so again, this is why a lot of people want to just go ahead and make them citizens, but you can't do that either, right? The reason why you can't do that either is because if you do that, you're essentially rewarding bad behavior. The problem with uh, what's happening at the border right now, one of the main issues is that there are too many incentives to try to come into the United States of America, especially when you talk about coming here and bringing children which leads to people using children in order to take advantage of the system and to increase their chances of being able to stay. We have to get rid of those incentives, okay? And what Democrats want to do with the Dreamers Act would be to incentivize more illegal immigrants to come here with their kids and to drop their kids off and say, well, if I get deported, fine. My kid's not going to get deported and they'll become a citizen. Now nah, we can't do that, right? We, we can't have that. OK, because, again, you're going to be incentivizing more illegal immigration. OK, what really should happen is that these so-called dreamers should be deported back to their home countries or their countries where they actually have citizenship and they can be in some special waiting line to get evaluated uh, like everybody else and to come into the country legally. Right. Again, I'm not saying, just you know, send them back and, you know, just forget about it. That's not what I'm saying. I'm actually saying send them back, but have them under some special waiting status where, hey, they might get some priority. They might not get priority, but I'm just saying they should be eligible to come back into the country legally if, if while they're here, they've been on good behavior. They've shown that they've been productive. Yeah, I, I get that. I understand that. But just because enforcing the law is important. Yeah, they have to come back in legally, right? They have to come back in just like everybody else, um, which means they <laughs> need to be deported, okay? But you damn sure can't have them being police officers with a legal status. That's definitely not going to work. I think ultimately, if someone's here and they're willing to contribute to our society, they're trying to make us safer, I don't see a, a huge problem with it. And is that pretty much the same sentiment you're getting from people on your show as well who, who call in or that you speak with? Well, I mean, conservatives are a little bit mixed on this. Liberals here are very much in favor of this idea and expanding it. The, the problem is, I just fear that these police departments might be setting themselves up for a, a policy shift. Even when we're talking about this current administration, let's take the courts out completely. You still have the ATF currently saying, and this is as of January of this year, that sure, I illegal immigrants or DACA recipients who are officers can carry firearms. And that's obviously a key part of the job. But that ATF guideline can go away with the new administration. That ATF guideline could go with the new ATF leadership. We, we just don't know where that's going to go. And I fear that we're putting a lot of resources and attention into this specifically without likely getting a whole bunch of new applicants and then having to reverse course and just save face. Jason, once again, it sounds like we need Congress to actually act and do something. Wow. What's a realistic solution? Yeah, we need mass deportations, right? That's what we need. Okay. 